जो करबला में शहीद हुए हैं बनु हाशिम वो सारी की सारी औलाद है हजरत अबू तालिब रजी अल्लाह अकील इबन अबी तालिब जाफर इबन अबी तालिब अली इबन अबी तालिब इस्लाम रजी अल्लाह जिन्होंने सरकार की जान को बचाया सरकार के ऊपर साया किया इस्लाम को तकवीत दी अपने बाजू से अभी वही अबू तालिब है कि जिसकी नस्लें करबला में शहीद हो रही हैं और वही अपने दादे का काम कर रहे हैं यार यार अबू तालिब रजी अल्लाह एक जल्दी से दलील देता हूँ कुरान में अल्लाह सुबहान फरमाता है फमार इजरमाया मेरे नबी वो पत्थर पत्थर तुमने नहीं मारा वो पत्थर मैंने मारा काम किसका है अल्लाह ताला का रसूल पाक का तो अल्लाह कह रहा कि मैंने पत्थर मारा है फेल किसका है एक्शन किसका है रसूलुल्लाह का लेकिन अल्लाह ताला कह रहा है मेरा एक्शन है जब वो बैत की तो हजूर पाक के हाथ थे ना साहबा के हाथ पे वो अल्लाह कहता है युद्दुल्लाफो कैदी है मेरा हाथ है आपका हाथ नहीं है वो मेरा हाथ है तो हाथ तो रसूलुल्लाह का एक्शन रसूलुल्लाह का लेकिन अल्लाह कहता है कि मेरा एक्शन पत्थर रसूलुल्लाह फेंक रहे हैं अल्लाह कहता है मेरा एक्शन तो एक्शन है एक बंदे का तो अल्लाह उस एक्शन को बना रहा है अपना एक्शन अब अल्लाह ताला वही कहता है आलम यजिद का यतीम आवा क्या हमने आपको यतीम नहीं पाया और पना दी एक्शन किसका था अबू तालिब का सारी तफसीरों का इजमा है पना किसने दी थी अबू तालिब ने और एक्शन अबू तालिब के एक्शन को अपना एक्शन कौन कह रहा है अल्लाह सुबहान तो मेरा यहाँ मिनहाजुल कुरान से इस पूरी दुनिया को चैलेंज है कि पूरे कुरान से मुझे ये दिखा दो कि किसी शख्स वाहिद के लिए अल्लाह किसी काफिर के लिए किसी काफिर के एक्शन को अल्लाह ताला ने अपना एक्शन कहा कमिंग ऑन हजरत अबू तालिब रेलिवेंट ऑफ दिस इज हजरत अबू तालिब अंकल ऑफ द प्रॉफिट एंड इन कर बला All the Banu Hashim, all the family of the Prophet, the larger family of the Prophet, who were killed in Shahid, Hazrat Muslim bin Aqil in Kufa, all of these people who were killed from the Hashimis were only, only the children of Abu Talib, his son Aqil, his son Jafar, his son Ali. There were there were no other uncles or no Hashimis. Only Abu Talib, the same Abu Talib who protected the Prophet when the Kufar was at him to kill him. Abu Talib was a shield to the Prophet, and here Abu Talib, Abu Talib's children again are shield to protect Islam. And it's really shameful that people nowadays, you know, people call Hazrat Janabi Abu Talib رضي الله عنه as non-Muslim. That is so That is sad. sad. Bukhari, Bukhari gives you a couple of re reports report, report, by, uh, by uh, Al Musayyab, right? right? right. Al Musayyab was not even born, born when Hazrat Abu Talib, alayhi salam, died. 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 So how is he? Can he be? How can he be a witness? The report from Hazrat Abu Huraira, Abu Huraira, radiallahu anhu, was not even a Muslim when Hazrat Abu Talib died. How can that be reliable? It says in Bukhari Sharif that Hazrat Umar Mu'minin Aisha Siddiqa, Salamullah Alayha, says that the miraj of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was only spiritual. The whole Mullah Brigade says, no, 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 she wasn't actually married to the Prophet at the time. They so therefore she doesn't know. If that argument is valid there, then what about about Abu Talib? People who are being witness are not even witness of the circumstances. And what we have, Sirat ibn Ishaq, ibn Ishaq died in 150 after Hijra. We have a report in there. Bukhari came in 256 after Hijra. Ibn Ishaq was born in 85, died in 150. The earliest written text, evidence in Islam, the earliest one is Sirat ibn Ishaq. There is nothing before it written. In that book, it says that Hazrat Abbas, رضي الله تعالى عنه, was at the deathbed of Hazrat Abu Talib, and he says to Hazrat Abu Talib, "Read the Hazrat Pak asked him, and then Abu Talib, رضي الله عنه, read the kalima." And Hazrat Abbas witnesses and tells the Prophet, "Ya Rasulullah, 
uh, your uncle has read the kalima and he's become a Muslim. We have exactly the same scenario, exactly the same setting as the boss, exactly the same scenario. A hundred years later, the statement of a boss in that one is that he didn't read the kalima. Aapne dekha kapi kaise plagiarism hua hai? They kept the same plot in of the Sira ibn Ishaq and they brought that same plot in Bukhari and other places. Everything is identical, but the only thing, the book that's 100 years before it says he read Kalma and the book that comes 100 years after says he didn't read Kamla. You think we are stupid? That we would buy your, uh, your these nonsensical reports? In the Quran Sharif, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about the Prophet, when the Prophet sallallahu has little stones, pebbles, he threw at the kuffar, Allah ta'ala says, that Ya Muhammad, you did not throw those stones. Right? You did not throw them. You did not throw those stones, but Allah threw those stones. So, an action, which is being carried out by who? The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allah Taala says that your action, your act, is not yours, but actually it's mine. I done it. In another place, when Sahaba Ikram did bayat of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the hand of the Prophet was on their hands, Allah Taala says that Yadullah hifaqaidhim, Ya Rasulullah, your hand is not on the hands of these people, but it's my hand. So it's a hand of the Prophet, Allah Ta'ala says, it's my action. So, here in two places, that it's the action of the Prophet, Allah Ta'ala says, it's not your act, it's my act. Similarly, in Surah wa duha it says about Hazrat Abu Talib, Alam yajid ka yatiman fa'awa. Even Ibn Kathir, for example, check his tafsir, he says, uh, uh, it means Abu Talib. Allah Ta'ala says, Alam yajid ka yatiman fa'awa. Didn't we find you, yatim? Alam Yatim, you know, like helpless, nobody around, an orphan, fa'awa, and then Allah Ta'ala says, you were protected. We protected you. So here Abu Talib protected the Prophet. So in other words, it is an action of Abu Talib, Allah Ta'ala says, I done it. So my challenge for Minhaj quran International Canada is this, that show me from the Quran Sharif a particular example about a person where Allah Ta'ala has attributed attributed the action of a kafir to his action. I can show you from the Quran where Allah Ta'ala has attributed the action of a particular person as his own action. So this indication also proves that Hazrat Janabi Abu Talib was a Muslim. However, my dear brothers and sisters, it is his Allah also that was uh, martyred and butchered at Karbala by Yazid. Hussain. <laughs>